Oh, someone got a haircut. That, as you can see, we have just given her a good shave. She's got these cute little curls I didn't cut on the side. When I first got her, I didn't think about grooming because she doesn't shed. Her hair grows a lot, and so it would get long. Uh, so I had her for about six months before making a big move. She had cute, fluffy puppy hair. And I saw her every day. I didn't really think anything about it. She does need to be brushed or it'll get matted, especially if it's growing so much. So I did buy a pair of clippers. She would need to, we would need to cut the um, hairs around her eyes because they would get in her face. I would take her out and go for walks. And there was a park by her house. And we met quite a few doggies and quite a few owners. I was paying attention to every detail because when you move to a new place, you're trying to stay safe, right? You're hyper alert. I was like, what is this place? What is it about? It's, it was different than where I came from. And of course, dog owners are really sweet. They ask about your dog. They ask how old your dog is, what breed she is. And then they, they would ask about gro the groomer. We didn't have a groomer. She had quite long hair and, you know, meeting a bunch of different people with dogs. After one time in particular, I thought, what is this obsession with the groomer? Is this some kind of code? Because it's how old is your dog? What's her name? And we're going to the groomer. Who's your groomer? Is this a thing? I became a better listener around this time because I was keenly aware. It was a time after COVID, so it was a big time of fear for everyone. And I think making a move during that time, it was important to have a neighbor, have somebody seeing you. So I would go out for the walk and I would be like, what is it going to be today? Who's going to tell me in a covert way that I should go to the dog groomer? And the next round was everybody was getting canceled. Everyone's appointment was getting canceled because of COVID. So I was like, oh, this is Sounds suspicious. All the dog groomers are canceling. What kind of conspiracy is this? I reflected on this and I thought, you know, my dog really just cares about playing. She doesn't need to look pretty and I don't need her to look pretty. But you know, her hair was getting long and so I cut her hair and I just shaved it because I don't know how to groom dog's hair. And I was also feeling like, are they breadcrumbing me to go to the dog groomer? Like what is waiting for me at the dog groomer? Uh, then I gave her a haircut. I went out to walk her. People noticed that she got a haircut. Someone got a haircut. And I said back to them, I was kind of proud of myself. Yeah, I did it myself. The response was, yes, I can see that. So anyway, time passed. I didn't think too much of it, but I was like, you know, there's a definite pattern here. I moved to a different neighborhood. What is this new neighborhood going to be like? You know, are they going to be obsessed with the dog groomer? A lot of emotional support animals around here. One of them offered to, well, tricked me. One of them tricked me into getting Nana groomed. I want to take your dog to the dog groomer. It's a gift from, from me. Well, I let them do it. Um, I would not give my dog to anyone now, by the way. She came back and she looked great. She looked great. There is a difference. So I continued to give her a shave every once in a while when her hair got a little bit long and I thought my method was working. Some time passed. My phone was bringing up memories. It started to bring up some memories during that time when people were telling me about the dog groomers. Essentially, as soon as the photo popped up, I just burst out laughing. I burst out laughing because it is just so obvious as time passed, how long her hair really was and how different she looked. You know, she looked like like a little kid that was just, you know, having a good time in the summer, kind of wild. Even I could see it then. And no wonder people were saying, oh, hmm. You ever been to the dog group? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same people that write, they write wash me on the car, right? And I could be driving a car around 
and not take it to the car wash for a very long time and not really care. <laughs>